Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 we got uh, some uh, little scuffle in Syria and the Syrian army or at maybe uh, the Russian army is able to uh, destroy some rockets launched by uh, none other than Israel. I didn't know Israel is at war with Syria. Did you know that? And if they are at war why isn't Syria hitting back because Israel is uh, uh, in uh, what uh, self-defense I think it's defending itself from the Syrians <laughs> unbelievable hypocrisy this article comes from Sputnik and it's from one hour ago and that is today right the 22nd of October 2022 Syrian air defense shot down two missiles and four bombs fired by Israel, Russian military re um, reports. So how is it possible? Where is the United Nations? Is the United States going to uh, apply some sanctions? European Union? The Germans? Anybody? <laughs> I don't think the Germans will. <laughs> anyway, Syr Syrian air defense systems destroyed two cruise missiles and four guided bombs launched by Israel's F-16 fighters at the airports of Damascus and Al Dimas on Friday, Colonel Andrei Buldiev, Buldirev, the deputy head of the Russian Center for the Reconciliation of Warring Parties in Syria, said on Saturday. What the hell is that? So he's the head of Recon Russian Center for Reconciliation of Warring Parties in Syria, reported. So. These guys fly their F-16s, release uh, cruise missiles and guided bombs into the airports or towards the airports of Damascus, the capital, and Al Dimas. What is going on there? Well, we know. We all know what's going on there, don't we? Yeah. Uh, Syria, and I'm quoting, Syria's air defense system destroyed two cruise missiles and four guided bombs over the course of an air defense battle, and quote, Boldirev said. The officials specif specified that the attacks were carried out on Friday evening by four Israeli F-16 jets operating from the Golan Heights. The Israeli aircraft fired four cruise missiles and eight guided bombs in total. As a result of the strike, a YLC-6M radar of the Syrian military and the runaway of the airport in Al Dimas was destroyed, while military personnel sustained no injuries. Well, just, just think about this scenario. Let's say that the Syrian air defense destroys one um, Israeli F-16 made, American-made fire jets. What do you think would happen? I can tell you exactly what would happen. If we find about it, if we find about, if we find out about it, then we will hear that uh, the uh, Israeli will protest and they will say this is war. It's a declaration of war because you attacked us. That's what they're going to portray. It. And all the weasels here and the United Nations have said yes, yes, that's true. Yes. And the mass media will cover, will cover for that. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. And uh, why? Previous situations happens over there. Happened over there. First, this article. If you find it in a Western mass media, uh, how do you think it's gonna it's gonna be portrayed as what? I'm gonna tell you how probably it's gonna be uh, portrayed. If you find it anywhere in the Western mass media, it will be like uh, Israeli um, whatever F uh, conducted a. Uh, attack on some terrorist targets as a retaliation for three rocket mortar attacks on coming from Syria from the Hamas backed or whomever Iranian backed groups of terrorists located in Syria. So this is how the story should go. There are some terrorists in Syria backed and financed and trained by Iran, <coughs> which is a terrorist state goes by you know, without saying it just you know, it's a given. And then because they're on Syria territory, Syrian territory, Syria protects them, right, being the, their sovereignty, and they shoot some 
uh, you know those uh, that you just put them in mortars like Second World War uh, kind of uh, rockets, they go somewhere in the wherever in the desert, uh, and <clears throat> and then the Israeli gonna use some F-16s with uh, multi-million uh, missile guided uh, um, guided missiles uh, launched by whatever whatever they have provided by the United States, obviously, and uh, they destroy what. Not those guys, because we'll never find out. When these guys, let's say, oh, Israeli uh, destroyed the group of uh, terrorists in blah, blah, blah. How do you know that? I don't know. You don't know. How do I know it was not, I don't know, destroyed some civilians? Who's going to report that? Syrians? Syrians lie. Al Jazeera? Al Jazeera lies. It's going to be Jerusalem Post. Or whom, whatever, Jerusalem Post via New York Times and all that. And you're gonna find out, yeah, yeah, they, they, they hit some terrorists. How do you know? I don't believe shit. I don't think so. If tomorrow you're not gonna hear from me and they will tell you that they destroyed a, uh, I don't know, a terrorist somewhere, blah, 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 and they give my name, for instance, how do you know that I was that or not? Because they tell you so, you're gonna believe that? No, they can tell you whatever they want. Unless my, you know, family or people that I know will say, what are these guys talking about? You know, that guy was nothing like that. Nevertheless, this is how they're going to report. And their news are going to hit a lot of people. Is anybody going to come and say, wait a second, no, that's a lie. Who? Who, you in a neighborhood? So the same here. Oh, they destroyed it, they destroyed that. A retaliation for some 50 mortars. Really? How do I know that? How do I know that? Who, who, who says that? Israeli says that? <laughs> okay. Can I verify? No. How can I verify? So all the information that we got is given by some, right? Correct. Can you verify that? How can you verify here that, uh, uh, anyway, Israeli, uh, uh, there were how many, the Russians say there were airplanes? Unless the Israeli is going to say the same thing. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be just a Russian saying and Syrians and taken by other news outlets that are, you know, favorable towards uh, uh, this side of the story. The other ones might say, no, no, it was not like that. We destroyed some uh, uh, terrorists who wanted to take off from those. Uh, they used those military bases and uh, airport to uh, uh, conduct uh, whatever attacks on Israel. How can you verify that? You can't, and you just, the problem is this is uh, given by important media outlets, like let's say New York Times. You know how much New York Times can get? How many people with that kind of information? Uh, this is the general stuff. I'm not talking only about uh, uh, this situation. The same thing with Ukraine. When the Russians are telling you that they did this and they did that, who can, verif who can verify that? And the same with, uh, with the, other, the other side. Who can verify that? Like Zelensky now yells left and right that the Russians uh, mined a uh, dam, hydroelectric, de uh, had hydroelectric dam, water dam. How do I know it's the Russians? The Russians did not say anything. Maybe it's the Ukrainians, maybe it's the Americans, maybe it's, I don't know, the Israelis. Who knows? If whatever Zelensky says, I don't believe shit. That's from the get-go. Neither do I believe the other side <laughs> and the circumstances as well. I'm just saying certain people can just come and say, you know, wait a minute, how can I verify that? You can't. You can't. If tomorrow, let's say, that dam gets blown up in, in, uh, in Ukraine and Zelensky shows up and says it was Vladimir Putin in his speedos, you know, swimming and he uh, pushed the button and uh, detonated everything. How do you know it was not Putin? You can't. And guess what? When Zelensky is going to say that, all the Western mass media is going to tell you that that's so. Based on what evidence? Zelensky has the evidence. <laughs> the other ones can deny how much they want. And the same thing is vice versa. So right now, if they show up with those Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 pipelines, and they tell you it was, I don't know, the, the Romanians, the investigations, will you or I know that it was not the Romanians? No, that's the outcome of an investigation. Everything is sealed. Bye-bye. We'll unseal it in 3,429 days. And then you wait until those uh, days pass. And then they say, you know, we extend it for, I don't know, 50 more years. 
yeah so we have to as i said we are like in a dark alley in the middle of the night and we have to get home and let's say we come from a party and we go and we know that that alley is a preferred alley for people who take shit on the alley in the middle of the night so you have to go to that alley and there's very little visibility because of the darkness and you have to just jump around is that a shit i'm gonna jump around and jump around and jump around until you get to the other side hopefully you don't have anything on your new shoes that's how the news are you have to just jump so you don't hit something that is really like uh gets you so you know ugh. so nevertheless the israelis hit uh inside a sovereign independent country what's gonna happen nothing so then when they talk about russia and uh what what's going on in ukraine my sympathy doesn't really go there solve that problem first which is uh, uh it's uh, older than that one and then we go we take them all and we can go while while we are at it we can go to syria we can go obviously we can go to to uh, uh libya we can go to iraq we can go to afghanistan we can go to yugoslavia 1999 and we can go back and back and back right and because uh, perpetrators are still alleged perpetrators are still alive i don't think it's a alleged some of them are right there thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just